So each week as part of the announcement, I'm going to send out a little video covering a portion of the syllabus. And that's just a way for you to make sure that you've got access to the entire syllabus. Um, and if you've got any questions, they should be answered eventually in one of the videos. So again, if you've got any comments or questions or concerns, please feel free to email me. Where is my email address? If we come down here, my email address is sbentley8 at alamo.edu. Don't forget that it's L-E-Y. Okay, or you can email me through Canvas either way. But to start off with the beginning of this, um, this is Math 1314 through St. Philip's College, Section 206. It's a full term, so it's going to go from August uh, uh, 28th through December 16th of 2023. This is a fully distance education course. So when you look at meeting locations and class meeting times, they're all on the internet. We have no structured meeting times. So it's called online asynchronous because there's no synchronized meeting times. And then um, in this particular course, you've got that this is one of two courses required in the co-rec combo. So you're required to take this class along with math uh, 0214. In the welcome video, I posted that um, you have, I'm sorry, my brain's not here. I posted that I, I consolidated the Canvas courses for Math 1314 and Math 0214 so that you wouldn't have two courses to look through. I just consolidated them into one. So at this point, you don't have to worry about anything. You are enrolled in both. Okay. At this point, you should have also done the syllabus quiz at, uh, so you should have noticed that Chromebooks and cell phones do not work for testing for any mathematics or engineering online courses. If you've got either of those and you haven't completed the syllabus quiz yet because you haven't been able to make the lockdown browser work, you'll need to check out a laptop from MathWorld at the SPC uh, campus. Okay. If you aren't able to do that, you may need to drop this class and enroll in a face-to-face -face course where they do their testing and face-to-face -face as well. Okay. And so that is all that we're going to go through today. We're going to go and start out with disability support services next week. So let me know if you've got any questions.